Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to design this login page and how to design for this one that is student and teacher. And in last video, I have also shown you that when I type username and password, it will let me move to the dashboard. Okay, and my password is also pretty easy. You can type whatever you have changed it. So just click on login and it will open a dashboard that will be the teacher dashboard. It's taking time because it's the complete project and it will load all the required data. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this complete stuff and these images, how to put these images and this one, how to design these buttons as well. So without wasting time, let's start with that. So I'm closing this one and we move to the project on which we are working. We are working on quiz, quiz management video. So let's start this and let me just show you. Start it, select teacher and username and password. Just log in, and here you can see this. We move to the teacher, and here we don't have anything. We have to start design. So let me just close this, stop this one, and move back over here. Where this one teacher.cs. Just double click on this, and here, first thing what we have to do is we have to remove the form border. This one for that, let me just maximize this one and this one like this. Okay, so search for the properties that is control box yeah change this one to false mm, not this one this is uh, this actually removes the controls but i don't need that for now i want to remove all this stuff so i have to remove form border style just change this to none form border style change this one to none and here we can see this now the form border style is changed now it has nothing next thing what we have to do is we have to set the size for this one to search for size here we have this change this one to 1366 comma 768 hit enter and this will be the full screen now next thing we have to add two panels on this one so go to toolbox search for panel Just drag and drop it here we have the first one and we need one more so I'm going to copy this and paste it once again now we have the second one so click on this and set the size and set the location first set the location to 0 0 0 X and 0 Y here you can see this now it's on the proper position and now we have to set the size so we have to set the size 768 will be the height of this one and width I'm going to set this to 278 or 275 like this 275 comma 768 like this one and here you can see this now it's to the bottom of this one next thing for this one I'm going to set the remaining stuff like this just it just just on the proper position With the help of keyboard you can move this slightly and just click on this okay it's now missing and now we have to set the size okay if it goes missing press ctrlz to undo and now we have to set the size for this one i'm going to set the size this one to 110 okay it will be 1101 actually and the height will be same as the previous one that is 768 hit enter and drag this one like this Let's check if this is out of the box. Yeah, this one is out of the box. So let me just drag in a little bit. Yeah, this one is better. After this, we have to set some image inside this one and in this one also. This one in this one we have to set some color. In this one, I have to set one image. So search for background image, just click on this. 
local resources click on import i have already provided the link for all the image in the description of this video just download it and explore where you have stored so i have stored in the desktop and here in this this one and here I have to use one image so I'm going to use this one just click on OK OK and here we go now we have image set on this one and for this one I have to set one color now going to copy the color code from my complete project so click on this and move back to here and let me just click on this and the color is lime green so move back over here just click on this and select the back color and type lime green and hit enter and here you can observe that we have little bit of the white space in between do these two so we can drag one little bit on the left side okay yeah here we go now this one is covered okay we have i guess we have stretched this one too much we have to just stretch a little bit till here now let's start this and check this so i have started the project it will take few seconds and now here we go It will take few seconds for sure to load the new configuration of the form. Now click on teacher and it's three like days. Oh, just copy this and paste this like this one. Just log in and here we can see this now this one is looking nice next thing what we have to do is we have to add one image over here as i have shown in the complete project so let me close this and move back over here let me just move this one a little bit on the right side with the help of keyboard just select this and move this a little bit on the right side like this yeah there we go so there we have the space move this yeah now this is good and the same way we have to adjust this on the left side a little bit now we can just leave it as it is or a little bit according to your system yeah that's good next thing what we have to do is we have to add one image view so image picture box actually just drag and drop it over here and just set one image I've already provided the image or you can change is as per your choice click on import and select one image I'm going to use this one click on open click on ok and just change this one to stretch image like this now we have to adjust this Just click on this and move this on the left corner. Yeah, there we go. Next thing what we have to do is we have to set the size for this one. So change the size from 100 to 200 and comma. It will be 768. Now hit enter. And now here we go. This is a full screen. Just stretch this like a little bit. yeah this one is looking nice but one issue in the quick overview i have shown that this image is transparent right so let me check that if there is any transparent image here's this one just double click on this and let's check if this one is transparent or someone else yeah, this image we have used so let me close this and move back over here let me just start this and check this once again so we started this
and let me just move back to here login okay not this is not the right image so let me just check this out in the complete project so move back over here in the complete project and I have to actually remove every stuff like this finally to check the image yeah click on this one and the image which we have used is local resources and and I have used I guess the same image but I can't able to figure it out let me just check it okay so here we go back color is transparent that's why it's causing an issue we just revert everything minimize this move back over here back color change this one to transparent web and transparent and here you can see this now this one is perfectly fine next thing what i have to do is i have to add one picture box over here so just go to toolbox search for picture box and drag and drop it over here on the left panel and drag it in now select the image choose images local resources click on import and select this one click on ok change this one to stretch image like this and stretch it as per your system size or as per you are developing this like this one I'm going to use this like this we can move this on a little bit on the left side so that it look nice and next thing we have one label over here in the below of this that is a teacher label so I'm going to search for label just drag and drop it over here change the text for this one to teacher hit enter change this one click on this and it will take few seconds after this a pop-up will appear like this one and I'm going to select 16 or 18 bold hit ok increase little bit more to 18 yeah this is nice move this one over here now it's good next thing what we have to do is we have to add one button so just search for toolbox and search for button and I'm going to use this guna 2 button if you don't have these stuff in your toolbox then you have to download one kuna 2 dll file which the link for that is already in the description of this video download that and and i have also made one video how to add dll file into the toolbox the link for that video is also in the description watch that and add this dll file into your toolbox just going to drag and drop it over here like this and let me copy the size for the button from my complete project so move back over here click on this and let me select the size size for this one is 263,45 so move back over here click on this one search for size just paste it and hit enter and just click on this one and move it like this this is to left yeah place it like this one okay on the little bit of the lower side and we have to set the icons for these buttons I need a little bit more we need actually five buttons right so I'm going to copy this and before that what I have to do is I have to just copy the font size so the font size is century gothic and it's bold and 12 so move back over here just move back just click on this select this one century gothic bold and size is 12 and hit ok now here you can see this after this what we have to do is we have to change the text for color so for color will be of black and whenever this the design will be clicked the background color will be white 
and yeah the background color will be white okay so let me just check this once again what is the check the state just click on this it's white fill color is white and the fall color is black okay so move back over here just click on this and select the check the state just click on this border color will be white because I didn't don't need any border color for fill color will be also white and the fall color will be black okay don't worry we are going to change the color same as this one lime green for this one also so how many buttons I need I need actually five buttons so I'm going to copy this one and paste it again paste it again because I need total of five and just put these all in the proper position so that these look nice like this yeah there we go now this is fourth with the help of keyboard you can move the controls up and down but it's a little bit slow but that's fine and the fifth one final just place this on this over here and just move this little bit outside yeah that's good here we have little bit more space and this one is also and one more thing what we have to do is we have to select all these buttons and button type we have to search for that button mode just click on this and select toggle button or oh, no sorry not radio button just click on this after this what we have to do is just click on this and start changing the text so change the text to add new question this one to change this one to update question and change this one to view and delete question and this one to update no actually all student result and finally this one to log out and one more thing what we have to do is we have to just move back over here on the top and make some space like move this one and just click on the form actually and what we have to do is we have to actually change this one start position to center screen and just save it now then click on this one and change the location for this one to 0 0 0 comma 0 and hit enter like this after this what we have to do is we have to add icons to this one just click on this and search for background not background image search for Im icons actually where it is yeah image just click on this local resource simply on import and explore where you have stored the image to so this one just click on open click on ok and here we have the image change this one size to 30 comma 30 hit enter in the same way we have to set the image for the second one just click on this change this one to local resources click on import and the second image is this one okay and change this one to 30 comma 30 the same way we have to do for the third one just click on this local resources click on import and select the third image that is where it is view view yeah this one open okay change the size to 30 comma 30 finally this one just click on this not in image click on this one local resources import all student detail in this one i'm going to use this one change the size to 30 comma 30 and finally the logout button just click on this click on this one local resources click on import and logout 
and we need one more button that will be the quit or exit button here we have so let me add one more button I'm going to use this one just drag and drop it over here just click on this and set the image click on this local resources click on import and I'm going to use this one okay and I don't need any text so I will remove the text and I will make this one small and increase the button size sorry the image size 35 comma 35 hit enter like this Just click on this and change the fill color to lime green. Fill color will be hit enter. Yeah, this one is good. In the same way, we have to do for the remaining buttons. Just copy these all. Sorry, select these all buttons and just paste the lime green and hit enter. And now here we go. Now we have to move this button a little bit on the left side. And one more thing, what we have to do is we have to just click on this and change the design name for this one so this is the design name change this one to BDN exit hit enter just double click on this this will generate a click event for this button so I double clicked on this BDN exit click event is generated so application dot exit and here we have to use this now we are ready so now start this and let's check if this one is working fine or not so i've already started the project so it started just click on this select teacher we take days copy this and paste it over here just log in and let's check how this actually looks and here we go now we have this we have exit button behind this one so click on this and here you can see this this one is working fine and okay so let me just hide this there we go here you can see this now this exit button is also here and when I click on this exit, this close the application. In the same way, we have to do for this logout and other buttons. So that's it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to design and code for this add new question. Okay. So wait for a second because it's closing the application. That's why the image is rendering. Okay. So add new question. I'm going to show you how to design this one. So let me move back to the complete project and let me show you that what exactly I'm going to show you in the next video okay so it's been starting I'm going to type the username and password just log in okay and here we go now when I click on this a new pop-up will be like this one on your screen so I'm going to show you how to design this stuff and how to connect this with add new button so till then stay tuned subscribe and share with your friends and thanks for watching